So I'm here outside my garden and I was gonna give everybody a little tiny tour of what I have going. Um, but I wanna preface this by saying that I get super intimidated by seeing all these amazing farms on Instagram and on Facebook and I think my little shindig is kind of an imposter and not great, um, but that's self-doubt and it's um, something I'm trying to overcome. <laughs> Sorry. My son um, makes a noise when he gets brain freeze. He's eating a popsicle. Um, so anyway, the great thing about gardening and farming is I feel like every year you learn some new skill and learn how to make something better or do it um, like kind of fine tune it every year and every season and so even though I feel behind what other people are doing in terms of skill level I feel like I'll be there someday so anyhow uh, let's start off with um, let's start off with the onions which are only half mulched at this point so these are my onions. Um, I bought them through So True Seed in Nashville. And they're um, a red onion and a yellow onion. And then I have some little baby nasturtium starts there because um, I decided this year that wherever a seed didn't take or wherever a plant kind of died, I was just gonna plant flowers there to encourage um, pollinators to come through and do all the hard work for me. There's still Nona. Say hi, Nona. <laughs> um, here are my potatoes. This um, bed was supposed to be way more diverse than just potatoes, but then I got a little, um, like, zealous um, in purchasing, and I ended up with way more potato seeds than I needed, and I gave, like, half of them away after planting this entire bed full of potatoes and I've got four varieties in there so I'm really excited to see um, how they come in. Over here I have my little baby chicks. We bought six chicks this year um, from Three Nails Hardware in Newland. What did I say? Three varieties of chicks, um, two each and they're all still alive so I'm kind of happy about that. Part of this um, also like farming gardening thing is learning how to just makeshift stuff that you have on hand. And I found this little piece of cabinetry at um, Habitat for Humanity and we built this little chicken tractor. Um, again, learn and live. And if I could do it differently, I would probably do it differently and I might do it and I will do it differently when this one eventually goes but for right now there are other projects that need my money right now <laughs> right here I built this um, trellis with just some tomato sticks and um, burpee five dollar trellis material and down here I have pole beans I planted rattlesnake pole beans from So True Seed um, last year and they did awesome and so I just kept those seeds and did them again this year Say hi, Allie. Hi, Allie. <laughs> there are our flame azaleas in bloom, and then we have three apple trees, two which are uh, fairly mature, and then one little tiny one that the kids have run over multiple times in various yard vehicles. So it's struggling, but I think it'll survive. Okay, back to the main garden. Um, I planted some summer squash here and it still hasn't come up. I just planted it like last week. So if I, okay, so live and learn next year, I'm just going to put a black, um, landscape fabric on this and then burn some holes in it and do it that way and weed that way because the weeds are already coming up and kind of try to minimize that. I just put down this pine mulch. I don't know if it's the right thing to put down. I don't know if I did it right, but trial and error. So this is, uh, these are some bush beans, green beans, some more little baby nasturtiums that I, I just love nasturtiums because they're edible flowers and I can use them on my cakes. Um, we have shelling peas and then we have okra over here. And my okra looks kind of funky. I don't know what's going on with it, but um, I don't know. Like you can see it looks like it's kind of struggling. But 
if it fails, then I'll just plant some more flowers there. Here we have garlic, which you plant um, around Halloween. And this is actually garlic. These are garlic sprouts from garlic that I grew last year. So it's all cyclical and self-generating, which is really cool. And I got those hardneck garlic starts from Against the Grain in Boone. And I love hardneck garlic. I wish every supermarket sold it. Uh, my peonies look awesome. Like the best that I've ever had them last year. I just had one little tiny bloom. And this year I'm gonna have quite a few. And I've got three of them going. And then um, I think this is nigella that I grew um, in a seed start little thing a couple, like last month. And I don't know what it's gonna look like, but nigella is also an edible flower that I plan to use on my cakes. Then here we have, I think three varieties of sunflowers. Um, if they look too dense, will you tell me, someone message me and tell me to thin them out, but right now I'm just going to let them go crazy. And then we have some uh, gladiolas, and then these are bulbs that I planted in the fall and I can't remember. I think this is called uh, um, something with an A. I can't remember. Um, that's a pussy willow, some lavender, and then I thought I had planted some lupine, but it's not coming up, so I probably did it wrong. Anyway, let's see if I forgot anything. Um, just some lilacs here and there, and some snowball, snowball bushes, which I love, which are totally in bloom right now and gorgeous. But, um... Yeah, so it's a small little operation, but makes me really happy, brings me a lot of happiness. And then I can show you, um, I'm hoping to put some more beds in here, extend them all the way down the hill to the potatoes. And then I just maximize this half of the yard. And then on the other half of the yard is where Elsa's new play set's gonna go. So yeah, we're busy. Never have enough money to do everything that we wanna do, but um, you just do little by little. You can never do all of it at the beginning. Okay. Gotta go.